Check within yourself. Do I have in my attitude or vritti any negative vibrations for any soul? You can check this in yourself right now. If you want to transform the atmosphere of the world, In your mind, there is any negative vibration for anyone, even for one soul, whether that thought may even be right. Not that it is always wrong, it may be right, but that negative vibration will not allow you to make the atmosphere powerful you will have to bring a change in your thoughts if you want the atmosphere to become powerful otherwise it will not become powerful many children say but what can I do who he is like that, so I have to think in this way of him. They even give gyan to Baba and say, Baba, you don't know. He is like that. That soul is like that only. That one is bad. He is like that. But Baba asks you, Okay, he may be bad. He is wrong, he is bad. And he should not do that in the way he is doing. But if you bring that bad thought of his or whatever his behavior is in your mind and think bad of him, does Baba permit you to do that? If you, if any Brahmin soul has any type of negative vibrations for any soul whatsoever, then you will never 
be able to change the atmosphere through your attitude. That is, you will never be able to create a powerful atmosphere through your vibrations. Then however much service you may do, you may even give eight lectures in a day, you may conduct Raj Yoga camps, you may give different types of courses. But if you have in your attitude any old negative vibrations, then you will never be able to create a powerful atmosphere. So, first of all, check yourself. How is your attitude like? Yes, it may be that one is very bad. He is giving sorrow to many souls. But then, can you not help him to change himself? Can you not help him to change him? Can you not help him so that he doesn't give sorrow? Even if there is such a type of soul who will not be able to change, okay, maybe in your judgment it is that he cannot change. However, all our number wise, aren't they? So, why do you think that that one will never change? Well, how can you give the judgment? It is Papa who is the judge, is it not? Have you all become each other's judges? Baba is also watching. This one is like this, so that one is like that. This one is like that. You saw practically in Brahma Baba, didn't you, that whatever type of soul there was, however many mistakes that one made many, many times, they were before Baba, they were there before Baba, but Bab Dada especially Brahma Baba in Sakar in corporeal form used to give Yad Pyar to all the children. He used to address all the children as sweet, sweet children. Did he ever say to sweet, sweet children, to all sweet children except these few? Did Baba say that? He addressed everyone as sweet, sweet child. So, 
even for those souls baba had so much mercy he became the ocean of forgiveness Okay, if you do keep a negative feeling for someone, tell me in what way will you be benefited? Suppose you say that you will be benefited, then you may keep a negative attitude for someone. Then Baba will give you permission. But first, Baba wants to know in what way will you be benefited? If you think that you will not be benefited and on the contrary you you get disturbed through that because when that thing comes in front of you Bab Dada says you should show a mirror to that person when that one gets upset or um, or is unhappy about it. So, if you are not going to be benefited in any way, then why have it? To become knowledgeful is one thing. The knowledge is there that what he is doing is right, wrong. It is not right. This is right. That is wrong. This knowledge is not wrong. But to keep that in your feelings, your attitude, your mind, that is wrong. because the result of that will be your, your mood will go off, you will have waste thoughts, the power of remembrance will decrease, there will be so much loss. You are the ones who are also going to transform matter, nature. Then these are actually compared to that, these are souls. Baba is again rhyming words of vritti, attitude, vayu, mandal, atmosphere and vibrations. They have a deep relation with one another. Attitude leads to vibrations and vibrations create the vayu, mandal or atmosphere. But the main thing is the vritti, the attitude. The thoughts in the mind, the feelings, thoughts, all that is vritti. So if you want Papa to be revealed quickly,
then to fasten the speed for achieving that is to have a positive attitude for everyone, for others as well as for the self. To be knowledgeful is okay, you may become knowledgeful, but do not place that or keep that in your attitude. Don't retain it because it is like rubbish or garbage and that only makes it worse. So you have to make your attitude powerful if you want the vibrations and atmosphere to become powerful. Or why? Because all of you have experienced, haven't you, that that it is it takes a very long time to change someone through words the speed of transformation through words is very slow but if you want someone to be transformed quickly then become knowledgeful and be and become the embodiment of forgiveness mercy good pure feelings good wishes and through that transform the atmosphere.